Hey, Ben from R&B Reptiles. Uh, I just got done work, but you know, work's never over. You're right here in the snake room with us. So I figured we'd take a couple minutes to show you guys what we do to set up our incubator and a couple of tips that you guys might be able to use to set yourselves up a little bit. Um, first off, I just want to point out, uh, we used a re old refrigerator. Um, we got it for free, actually. And sometimes you can find these, you know, maybe on the side of the road or on Craigslist or something like that for really cheap. But you want to make sure that you take care of it, clean it up real good, make sure that it has a seal that works really well, that the seal isn't damaged, but you sanitize everything inside out, leave it open for a few days, the whole deal. Uh, you want to be very clean. Um, next, I want to point out that you then want to add a bunch of magnets and stickers. So this is a great place to put magnets and stickers and uh, hopefully some people will see some cool stuff that, you know, maybe somebody made that's watching these videos. Um, so what we do also is we're using a Bavarium Electronics V300. Up here you can see the, where the probe temperature is 87 right now. I have that open and stuff, but it's set to 89. Generally we keep ball python eggs in here, um, which they like to be right around 89, 89 and a half, 88 and a half. So that's the butter zone, right in that one degree. I know it sounds like pretty tight, but we're gonna show you a couple tips on how to make that um, a lot more stable and something that you guys can do consistently. So inside, when we open up our refrigerator here, you can see um, it's just an old refrigerator. And we removed a bunch of shelves so that um, a lot of you can fit a lot of things in there. There was some things floating around in here. This probably was a uh, freezer, um, but and that would probably be better. But whatever you can find, it'd be easy just to to fix there. We have our probes sitting right here in the middle of the of the incubator, and you can see that it's dead, almost dead center. We also ran, and Ryan can get in there, we ran uh, some heat tape all the way around. And we ran it all the way up and all the way down um, two sides of it. You guys can use one big piece of heat tape, a thicker piece of heat tape, as long as it's something that can keep um, producing heat. And we use metal tape. A lot of times they'll, uh, if you buy heat tape, they'll sell it with it, or you can buy it at, you know... Uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. Uh, but just a metal tape that isn't going to catch on fire over time. So we also have in here is a little fan. So we're using just a computer fan um, that we have hooked up to a USB cable. And you can find them on Amazon or anywhere. Uh, just a little fan. And what that does on an angle there is it circulates the air. So the air gets blown around in here and uh, helps and it's not really going too fast and you don't need it to blow real hard or fast but it just circulates the air just a little bit to, to keep the temperature going uh, real consistent and sta steady. Also if you come around here you can see we had to drill a hole in the side of the refrigerator and it very simple just um, took a drill bit and put it through to put our cables in there and you just stuff that with anything really to keep the temperature um, from escaping and so we used we used um, paper towels, so it's not a, not a difficult build. A um, couple things that you want to be cautious of or thinking about is making sure that it stays clean. Um, if you spill anything, you definitely want to wipe it up and make sure that there's nothing in there because whatever that is, it's going to be heated at you know your 90 degrees or whatever you have it. And it can grow bacteria, it can grow mold, things like that. So you want to make sure you keep everything consistent and clean. And we can show you how we set up our bins so that um, it makes it really easy so nothing spills. But also, if you're having a little bit of trouble keeping the temperature from swinging, you can take big like gallons of water and sit them in there, or bottles of water and sit them in there. What happens is the temperature of the water heats up to, the, to your right temperature over time. And then... If something swings in the, like opening the door or air or something swings, there's more in there that can stay at that te steady temperature. Uh, so it helps reduce the cost Biomass. as well. Biomass, Ryan is telling me. Um, also, since we're talking about this, Fancy we have, <laughs> we have <laughs> ball python eggs is what we normally put in here, but we also do clubert eggs. And 
We have a handful of colubrids that usually like it around uh, 80, 75, 80 degrees for their incubation. And what we'll do is we'll put them just around our snake room. We have designated areas that we'll set up in our hatchling bins. And we keep our snake room total at around 75 to 80 degrees during the um, incubation seasons. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. You know, like our stuff and uh, maybe subscribe. I don't really... Hit the no, bell really. icon if you want to get the bell notified icon. about videos that we upload. It'll be awesome. Yeah, if you want to know about our videos that we're uploading, hit that bell icon. So feel free to let us know about the green gloves and also <laughs> <laughs> the glove war. And also uh, if you have any questions or comments, and feel free to ask us anything. And um, you should be able to see my phone number there, my personal phone number. You can call me. Let me know. Definitely right? call him. Anytime, day or night. <laughs> he loves it. All right, thank you from R&B Reptiles. Bye, guys.